I'm Ashley Dvorkin for Fox Lifestyle with summer barbecue season right around the corner. We want to know what the celebrity chefs are cooking up. So joining us today is restaurant owner and Top Chef All-Stars winner Richard Blaze with his recommendations. Welcome, Chef. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's barbecue season, so what do we think about with barbecue? The wood that cooks the food, right? Yes. So I'm talking about beech wood, right, from Europe to really enliven your barbecue. Okay. And I'm working with Boar's Head, and we're talking about a great product, Boar's Head Black Bars Beechwood Smoked Ham, to sort of enliven your barbecue, get that beautiful smoky flavor mm -hmm. without really um, adding a lot of uh, ashiness or bitter notes to your barbecue. So okay. there's ways to get that amazing flavor into your food um, without actually throwing everything on the grill using an ingredient that's already got that barbecue flavor or the flavor of beechwood in this instance in some of your dishes. And this is the food that we have in front of us right now. Okay, tell me about these dishes you've brought in. Let's start with the salad. Yeah, so we're taking the salad. It's, you know, the idea of it is the typical sort of chef salad, which growing up, that was my favorite salad because it had all of these wonderful proteins in it. Mm -hmm. um, so again, we're using uh, the boar's head beechwood smoked ham in this salad with kale because kale's not over. It's not over. It's not over. I'm, like, people I'm feel like oh, okay. kale's over, broccoli's the next <laughs> kale. No, kale still is in the limelight. Okay. Uh, and this salad focuses on that. It's got some dates in there, some chickpeas, um, some Monterey Jack cheese. And it's just sort of like, it's a big salad. I mean, I'm, I'm dating myself, but you remember like Seinfeld, like big salad? Yeah, yeah. It's a salad We're you can eat salad. as an entree. Mm -hmm. And using the beechwood smoked ham in this salad sort of gives you that protein and that sort of nuanced smoky flavor. Okay, great. And the pasta dish? Uh, I, again, I'm a native New Yorker. Uh, when I'm cooking at home for my kids, I turn to pasta all the time. So this is whole wheat spaghetti with a broccoli top pesto, and again, some of that boar's, boar's head um, black forest beach with smoked ham mixed into the pasta. You know, it's a riff off of pesto slash meets carbonara. I'm all about the mashup, um, but simple to throw together. And a lot of th the things I love about these recipes is it's not just using the ham shaved thin and piled high on a sandwich, although that sounds really, <laughs> doesn't that sound really good? Right, um, yeah, it's, so in addition. In it's addition, <laughs> it's taking the ingredient and using it in other dishes yeah. as a flavor enhancer, not just, you know, piled high on a sandwich. Sure, okay, well then, in terms of the barbecue overall, what would you say is your secret to a great barbecue? Well, I mean, again, not, not to go back to this, but really, you know, to me, it's that the, the flavor of the wood, right? Yeah. If you have okay. the means... Um, and you can using wood is great. So my restaurants in California, you know, we I, we like to use almond wood or juniper wood. The name of my restaurants juniper and ivy. Mm -hmm. So the different type of wood you use is going to present a different flavor. Okay. Um, now beechwood specifically to me was really inspiring when I got together with Borshead because it's a flavor that I'm not used to. Uh, this is imported from from Europe and Germany, and it gives it this super clean flavor without some bitter notes. Okay, great. Well, let's talk about some of the other things you have going on as well. Yes. Um, many will know you from Top Chef, and you won All-Stars, and now you're a judge. So what is it like to be on that side of things? Now I'm a judge. It's just <laughs> like, how did that happen, first of all? Like, who let that happen? Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, it's like at the Thanksgiving Day table when you go from the kids' table to the regular part of the table. Yeah. And now all of a sudden I'm sitting there with Aunt Padma and, and uh, you know, you know it's, it's, it's surreal at times, um, but it's, it's harder than it looks. It's hard to eat food, consist you know, eat 20 dishes and then to talk about it um, and make sure that you don't just say, oh, it's tasty or it's not good. It's, it's right. difficult. Sure. And it's going into its 13th season. So how long do you think the show can continue? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm hoping for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I'm in the bullpen. So if they call me, I, I come in the game. Um, but, yeah, I think it can go on for a long time. A lot of these reality shows, as you know, are in their 20th season, you know, yeah. nearing 30 seasons. So I'm hoping that uh, Top Chef sort of endures. Yeah, well, when they work, they, they stick around. That's true. Okay, so cookbook-wise, because you have one out, you're working on the second one. So tell me, do you have an idea of where you're going with the second one, maybe a theme or? Yeah, well, I was hoping yeah. maybe you could help me out. Okay, we'll, we'll come up so with it right now. We're writing the second cookbook. <laughs> It'll be definitely similar to the first one, Try This at Home, which was a James Beard-nominated um, cookbook. So how do you cook creatively at home? These dishes are great examples of the type of food um, that might be in my next cookbook or we're in the first, you know, taking everyday ingredients um, and making them special. Yeah. And now about your restaurants, which you mentioned, is there anything that you're all about right now, a trend, an ingredient, something that you're trying out? I mean, you talked about you know, yeah. different wood that you're cooking on, um, but is there something that's sort of in the moment that you're all about? Right yeah. Now? I mean, one of them is, you know, live um, wood cooking, right? Mm -hmm. uh, here we're talking about beech wood, but I mean, the idea of cooking vegetables on a grill 
is very exciting to me, right? Like, um, you know, if you took some beets and cooked it in this beechwood, that would be amazing. Um, pickling and fermentation. I'm, see, now I sound like a dork, though. You're asking, like, <laughs> these hard chef questions. No, no, um, I love it. There's like, foodies watching. Developing flavor with, again, everyday ingredients, that's something that I'm, I'm really into at the moment. Okay, and do you share recipes and tips on your social media? I mean, if you have an idea, or you just you tweet it out to yes, um, at Richard Blaze on uh, all social media networks. And yo, know, I'll answer questions. Sometimes they get real serious because I'm known to be a tech and gadget person. Oh, okay. Um, so I might not be able to tell you how to build your own sous vide unit at home because people ask me that on Twitter. Um, but if I if, certainly if I have time, I'll answer questions on social media. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Chef Richard Blaze. Thanks for being here. You got it. Appreciate thank you. it. And thank you for watching for Fox Lifestyle. I'm Ashley Dvorkin.